Equip your children with the tools they need to navigate the world confidently. Introducing the Safety Up Digital Membership. Get access to hundreds of ready-to-use printable resources and activities designed to empower kids and keep them safe. Sign up today. Safetyup.org. <laughs> Lil Iguana presents The Lemonade Stand. Stay tuned after this episode for a fun song related to the story. Do you wanna, do you wanna come and play? We'll learn to do what's safe for you, the Lil Iguana way. We'll be dancing, we'll be singing, and telling stories too. There's so much to learn. On a cozy Saturday morning, the sun peeked through the curtains, sending warm rays dancing into the kitchen. Lil Iguana tumbled into the room, his stomach growling and ready for breakfast. His sisters, Allie and CK, quickly followed behind Lil Iguana. The table was set with plates and bowls, like colorful canvases waiting to be painted with breakfast delights. The smell of pancakes tickled their noses, swirling with the scent of syrup and fresh fruit. Allie reached for the syrup, its golden liquid pouring like sunshine over her pancakes. CK scooped spoonfuls of colorful fruit into her bowl. Lil Iguana twirled his fork into the fluffy pancakes. The siblings shared ideas about what they wanted to do today. Allie's eyes sparkled like stars as she suggested, Let's build an obstacle course in the yard! CK smiled as wide as the sky, nodding eagerly in agreement. Lil Iguana jumped up with enthusiasm, already envisioning the adventure ahead. With their bellies full and their spirits high, they cleared the table and did the dishes. Plates clinked like cymbals as they stacked neatly back in the cabinet, ready to embark on their obstacle course adventure. Outside, the yard stretched out before them, waiting to be transformed into a creative obstacle course. The sun was sneaking in and out of clouds as Lil Iguana, Allie, and CK stepped outside. Don't forget the sunscreen! Mom Iguana reminded the siblings. Lil Iguana ran back into the house to grab sunscreen for all of them. They lathered up in the driveway before they started to play. Allie, with her colorful chalk in hand, knelt down on the driveway. With thick lines, she drew a hopscotch, each square a stepping stone on their journey of fun. The hopscotch was filled with bright colors and shapes, marking the beginning of their obstacle course. Meanwhile, CK dashed around the yard, gathering sticks and rocks. She carefully placed them in straight lines, creating hurdles for her siblings to jump over. She then dropped the rocks in big towering piles at spots throughout the yard. At each stack of rocks, the siblings had to do 10 jumping jacks. Lil Iguana grabbed some jump ropes and started to create the perfect finish line. The jump ropes stretched like ribbons in the breeze, a beacon of triumph at the end of their journey. Together, the siblings worked as a team to create a fun obstacle course. Now it was time to race each other through the course. Allie was up first. She dashed through the hopscotch down the driveway. Her feet hopped from square to square with giggles and laughter. Then she skipped over to the stick hurdles, raced through her jumping jacks, and crossed the finish line. Her siblings quickly followed. They each took turns timing one another and cheering one another on. Allie, CK, and Lil Iguana got faster and faster with each try through the course. After what seemed like all morning, the siblings were out of breath and thirsty. They decided to head inside for some refreshing lemonade and a yummy snack. Lil Iguana, Allie, and CK all crammed into the tiny bathroom to wash their hands before having their snack. The warm water ran over their fingers and washed away the dirt from their outdoor adventure. They sang a song while they washed their hands to make sure they scrubbed for 20 seconds or more. In the kitchen, Lil Iguana poured three tall glasses of lemonade. Ali, CK, and Lil Iguana all sat around the table, sipping tangy sweetness. Suddenly, an idea popped into Lil Iguana's head. Why don't we share this yummy lemonade with our neighbors and bake a lemonade stand? Said Lil Iguana. CK and Ali nodded enthusiastically, their faces lighting up with the idea. Together, they made a plan to set up a lemonade stand at the end of their driveway, inviting the whole neighborhood to enjoy their delicious creation. 
After their snack break, with renewed energy, they gathered supplies to make a colorful sign to place at the lemonade stand. Allie drew big yellow lemons and CK and the Laguana wrote lemonade at the top in bright blue letters. The siblings each added their own artistic ideas and designs. They set up the table and lemonade stand signs. They were excited to share their joy and spread smiles to everyone who passed by. With the stand built, it was time to make the lemonade. They gathered lemons, sugar, and water, mixing them together in a big pitcher. With each stir of the spoon, they were careful not to spill the delicious lemonade. Once the pitchers of lemonade were ready, Lil Iguana carefully carried them outside, his hands holding the handle tight to make sure he didn't spill. Neighbors and friends soon began to visit their stand, drawn by the sweet aroma of freshly squeezed lemonade. Ali, CK, and Lil Iguana greeted each customer with smiles and laughter, pouring out glasses of lemonade with pride. As the day wore on, their stand became a hub of activity, laughter, and joy filling the air. With each glass of lemonade sold, their hearts swelled with happiness knowing that they had spread a little bit of sunshine to those around them. It was the end of the day and the siblings were ready to start packing up. Just then, a car pulled up in front of the driveway and a man got out and approached the siblings. He told them that his puppy was lost, and he asked them if they had seen his puppy. The siblings shook their heads and told the man they had not seen a puppy around. Then the man asked if the siblings could get in his car and help him look for the lost puppy. We don't have permission to go, said Lil Iguana. It's okay, you don't need permission, said the man. Allie started to walk towards the car, but Lil Iguana pulled her back. His harm alarm was going off. He knew something wasn't right. We can't help you look for your puppy, but we hope you find him, said Lil Iguana as he pushed his sisters up the driveway and towards the house. Hey, what about his puppy? asked CK and Allie. The sisters didn't want there to be a lost puppy. Lil Iguana didn't want there to be a lost puppy either, but felt a weird feeling in his stomach. He knew it was his harm alarm going off and something wasn't right. Lil Iguana wanted to call a wisdom keeper to ask for help. Together, the siblings held hands and sang. Listen with your ears, look with your eyes, then ask for help from someone who's wise. A nearby rock came to life as a wisdom keeper and asked, How can I help? Lil Iguana explained that a man asked the siblings to get in his car to look for a lost puppy, but they didn't have permission for Mama Iguana to go with the man. The wisdom keeper talked about how it's always important to get permission first whenever you want to go somewhere or do something. You should always make sure it is okay. And then Lil Iguana remembered what Mama Iguana had said. Adults should never ask little kids for help unless it's to clean up around the house or classroom, do your chores, or help with their parents' permission. That's right, said the wisdom keeper. You want to make sure the puppy is found safe, but you need to get permission from the adult in charge before you go to look. The siblings remembered how it's good to seek out wisdom to keep them safe. They went right inside to tell Mama Iguana all about the man, the puppy, and their harm alarm. The end. Thanks for listening. Now, let's learn more about the lesson from this story. Who's a stranger? Never go without permission. Lil Iguana says, A stranger is anyone that you do not have permission to go with right then even if it is someone you know. Every time you want to do something, you need to get permission to go from the adult in charge of you. This way, the adult in charge knows who you are going with and where you are going. Do not go with someone unless you get permission. Remember, permission is looking the adult in charge in the eyeballs, asking if you can do something, and then getting a yes. Eyeballs, ask, yes. Let's dance! We were checking out the playground after school. My buddies and me, we were playing real cool. When along comes a guy who wanted to hang. I thought I'm a little too old to be part of our gang. The man was friendly, just wanted to talk. But my buddies and me, we just turned and walked. Cause a stranger is someone we never met before. A stranger is a danger you don't want to ignore. You should tell when a grown up you don't know says they know you well. Who's a stranger? Someone you've never seen. A stranger is a danger if you know what I mean. My sister and me were at the mall, and a man was waving and started to call. But my sister and me knew to ask our mom if the man was just a stranger that might do us some harm. So we asked permission. To go and see what the man had in store for my sister and me. My mom's 
said you could go, but you get to close eye. While my sister and me bought balloons from the guy. Who's a stranger? You should tell when a grown up you don't know says they know you well. Who's a stranger? Maybe friendly, okay. But it's better just to turn and run away. We were walking to a friend's in the neighborhood when a car pulled up. Just where we stood The lady said my mom and her were real good friends And she'd give me a ride just up around the bend But I knew my mom would never say That a stranger had permission to invite me that way And my dad told me I should never go With anybody, no one that you just don't know Enjoyed this story? Dive deeper into the adventure at liliguana.org slash podcast. Explore exciting printable activities and more related to this episode. Visit us now!